It's nine o'clock on a Sunday and it's a review show special and it's one of those rare review show specials where I'm not here on my own. I'm here with the Kid Magician, Ryland Petty, and there is a reason I'm here with Ryland because today on this week's uh, review show special, we're going to do a very deep dive onto a brand new trick that's all about Rubik's Cubes. If you've never seen a review show special before, the idea is very simple. I take a deep dive into a particular product, a particular creator, and today we're going to be looking at a new Henry Harriers product. But this is being bought out by Henry Harriers, but Henry doesn't really have anything to do with the actual content of this product. And the reason is this product is all about Crazy Sam. Now, if you don't know who Crazy Sam is, he has been basically catching the magic world by storm, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, he's bought a ton of stuff out with Hanson Chen. You probably have seen Crazy Sam's uh, finger which is a load of finger manipulation that he's Crazy used on this Sam. season of America's Got Talent to absolutely kill. Um, he's also brought out Crazy Sam's um, kind of rubber band penetration thing. Crazy Sam's handcuffs. Handcuffs, yeah. Um, most recently, a Blackpool. Got, yeah, they've got the, um, the, the one where like, it can snap a crisp. Yeah, well, a Blackpool, that's Crazy the Sam thing that mind. everybody was raving Crazy about, Sam Crazy mind. Sam's mind, where you take a crisp and you... You, you reviewed that, you gave a great review, that came out earlier this year. Well, now he's brought out Crazy Sam Solve, which is all Rubik's Cube solves. It's all solves with a regular Rubik's Cube. And um, I, that's why you're involved in this review show special, mm -hmm. because, oh boy, oh boy, this is kind of a bit advanced for me. And so I needed a proper Rubik's Cube expert to sit down with me and review this. And that's what Ryland's here for. Now, before we go any further, I'm just going to play the trailer for you in case you haven't seen this. The magic world is buzzing about it. But in case you haven't seen it, we're going to play the trailer and then we can talk about exactly what this is. Thanks to all the fantastic creators, we have seen numerous incredible effects in the world of cube magic. But what you are about to witness is the crazy breakthroughs of a talented young magician. His name is Sam Wong. This is Crazy Sam's Encyclopedia of Cube Solves. In this project, you will learn all his crazy cube solves that looks just like CGI. You can check it, just the number two. But don't break it, don't break it. What the f***? Let's take your cube magic to the next level. Welcome to Crazy Sam's Soul. Okay, so that's the trailer. Yeah. That is the trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, Crazy Sam Solf. What is it? Well, first of all, it's fair to say you met Crazy Sam at Blackpool. Yeah. In the Ruskin, two o'clock in the morning. You're there having your mind blown <laughs> by Crazy Sam. He came up to you and me and he's like, hey, I want to do a Rubik's Cube trick. I've never seen you so fooled. He was doing these crazy solves over and over and over and over and you were just, I remember you saying to him, is that a gimmick cube? You thought he was using a gimmick cube. And he was like, nope, just a regular cube. And a little dribble came out of his mouth no, right there. Just there. He just looked at him like this. Oh. I didn't. <laughs> you, were, you, you were super impressed though, let's be yeah, honest. 
Um, so, and, and all of that stuff that he blew your mind with at Blackpool is on this project. It's about an hour long and you get a cube with it. It starts with Henry and Sam talking through what the project's all about, but then it goes into nothing but crazy Sam himself. And it's, it's, it's uh, not in English. The beginning bit with Henry is, but the majority of it isn't in English, but there is English subtitles. Is that correct? Yeah. And basically, it's an, on, then, yeah. and basically it's an hour long, but it is literally just an hour of cube solve after cube solve after cube solve. And I want you to talk through how easy they are, go through the different solves, how difficult they are, what experience level you have to be in order to do something like this. I want to go through absolutely everything. Is that OK? Yeah. Um, but before we do that, very, very quickly, we should point out it also does come with a Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Now, I have watched this project. I haven't tried to do any of it, but I have watched it. And Henry says that this is not a normal RD cube. Is that right? No, I wouldn't say it is. So he said, like, it's a bit faster than an RD cube or yeah, something? Yeah, it's quite fast. Yeah, so what, what's the difference between this and an RD cube? Well, an RD cube, well, it's just... Say this one's faster, I would say. That's it, mainly. And, and he said that this is easier to practice the solves with, this RD cube. This RD plus or whatever. He said it's self-correcting is better or something. But then Sam says that he uses yeah. normal RD cube because it matches up with all the other gimmicks and everything. So you can use an RD cube eventually, but you get this cube to practice all the solves, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about this. Ryland's going to do most of the talking. But first of all, I just want to play a quick video for you. This is something you shot for Instagram. And this is one of the solves. It's, it's you performing this to Instagram. Um, it's it's the slow solve. So you start off in this video doing a normal shake solve from Cube Three, and then you go into this slow solve. And the first you're gonna bet, you're gonna see it right now. But the first time I saw this, I was just blown away, like absolutely blown away. Let's have a look at that. You've probably seen me solve a cube really fast, uh, just like this. Now I'll show you how that's done, but in slow motion. Just watch the blue side. So it's completely mixed up, just watch the blue. Just like that. Okay, so that was the slow solve. That's incredible. That blue side yeah. filling up one piece at a time, and then you just <laughs> talk to me and about you can the do whole project. Can you? Obviously. So you can literally have them say, "Name a side," and it, you can do it on the side that they name. Yeah, that's fine. Wow. Yeah. So basically, if you if you just sorry. speak up, speak up seriously. Yeah. So if you um, if you just say name a name a color on this room, just give any color, and they say let's say um, green for example. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna quickly mix it up. And you do the thing, but on the green side. You say, now, I want you to watch this green side, you ready? And then you wow. do the green side. So, talk to me about the whole project. How, I mean, that was the first solve, wasn't it? The, the slow solve. Yeah, I think that was the first solve, yeah. Okay. So, talk to me about the whole thing. Go through all the different solves. But most importantly, how difficult are these? Because Sam says at the beginning, this is really tricky stuff. Like, this isn't by, like buying a, co a, a cube gimmick and just, like, doing it straight away. Yeah, I think... I think if you've got, uh, if you if you do Rubik's Cube magic, it's probably easier. But but I would say it'd be probably in the middle if you've never done cube magic before. This would not be the first thing you buy if you've never done cube magic. No, definitely not. Like if you don't even know how to solve a cube or you don't know how to do like a normal two two one one or whatever, this is not the thing. This is not the thing to get, right? No. Okay. So talk me through it. Talk me through all the different stuff. I want, I want to know all that. Go, seriously, yeah. that's why you're yeah. here. I want so, to know all yeah. about that. Come on. Uh, so, basically, half, it's basically split, the two shores split into half and half. So, it's like different, basically like different two. So, one half is the three-sided solve, and the other half is the um, the corner twist. Okay. So, base, so the, the three-sided solve is, I don't know if you know, but it's where you can basically just drop the cube. And it, uh, it solves itself. So it's Kevji and Colin Klaus have got some work on that. Yeah. So basically, it's just like 
you can show the cube completely wakes up and then pff, it solves itself that's like the main thing but obviously sam's created some more stuff with it so i think we start off with one of my favorites the uh flick solve which is basically uh as long as you've got it in that position you can give it a quick mix uh then yeah basically just give it a quick mix and then you can show it and you'll look watch flick it and it completely solves itself just like that wow that's getting some crazy one yeah it's pretty cool so uh, yeah you can just solve it just like that and then there's the drop solve which is like you have it and then you just go and it solves itself okay which is obviously pretty cool and there's a bunch of like other stuff with this uh principle so it's like you can do a bunch of stuff with it okay and it teaches you how to do it the it teaches you how to put it into that position obviously but i mean the problem with that solve correct me if i'm wrong is that at the end of it you're you're dirty you're not you haven't actually solved the whole cube yeah yeah at the, at the end of it i would probably just like say now i'm going to show you like basically how to solve like this quick uh, crash course so it's literally just white cross like that and put the corner pieces in because kev g and colin klaus have some work on the three-sided solve yeah but they have an algorithm that they can go from the three-sided solve into a position to do a shape solve that's pretty cool yeah uh, I know Sam has more visual ways of solving the cube when it's in the three-sided position, but I'm just saying for people that like that, if you want to get out of it and get into like a normal cube without having to solve it really quickly, you can do that using Kevji and Colin Classic That's levels. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's the corner twist? What's what's that? So you basically, said... this principle is basically you got the corner and you twist it. Okay. So it's like you corner twisted it, corner twisted it, but it's not like you actually mix it up. So you've got the corner twist, but you can show it all around because obviously you're hiding the corner. And you so you twist feet. it in front yeah. of the audience, do you? No, without them noticing. Okay. Yeah. Just on the offbeat. Yeah. Okay. So you can show the cube. Yeah, with the twist and like just carry on showing it, and then it's like you mix it. You can mix it up, and this is this is where sort of the corner twist is. So you can do it. You mix it up, and then you go watch, and it solves just when you buy it. I've got a video of that. Should we play that video? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's quickly play that video. We got video. Flick solve as well. Have we? Yeah. Is that the one that you talked about earlier? That's the one where you just go. Okay, so we'll yeah. we'll we'll play both of those videos now. Yeah. Let's have a look at the blow solve and the flick solve. I mean, they look incredible. Yeah. The blow solve isn't that the one that you 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 convinced your mom it was a gimmick to cube with? Yeah, because I said watch this and I did it. And she's like, is that gimmick? And I was like, no. And she thought that she was like, oh, mm, okay. Then she thought you were lying and it really was gimmick. And I just said, yeah, yeah. So she did really think that was gimmick. So, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, this is really this is a really good product. Uh, product. So what else have you got on there? You've got. Um, so What's that one where I was holding the cube and it happens while I'm holding it? Because that was incredible. Yeah, that I, I, that, that one's not the corner twist. That's like an extra add-on at the end. Basically, you can just hold the cube and uh, mix it up. It's like, so, blah, blah, blah. And you see it mixed up. You say, just hold that, I'll hold this. And watch. So, they're, they're, yeah, just to be clear, they're holding onto the cube. Yeah. And you solve the cube while they're holding onto yeah. it. so it's like, uh, if you talk, I can quick grab one of the cube quickly. Okay, I will talk. So, yeah, I mean, I, 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 you're actually going to do it, are you? Because this is this is incredible. This looks really good. He showed this to me. And it is, genuinely, he mixes the cube up. He got me to hold it, and it solved while I was holding on to it. Like, this is pretty advanced stuff. Like Ryland said, this is not something that you want to do if you're a beginner at cube magic. But if you've got some ability with a cube and you want to take your cubing to the next level, this, oh my gosh. I saw Joseph Westbury um, put some videos up on Instagram. Oh yeah, and there's another couple of solves with the corner twist as well, which I can show Is there? Yeah. Are you using a Go Cube? Yes. To demonstrate cube magic? Yeah. Of course you are. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, got the cube. Mix it up. Yeah. Is this going to work with the cube? With one of these? Uh, I think it should, yeah. So, just, okay. uh, <laughs> should do. <laughs> So uh, just hold there, right there. Right, right there, like that. And watch. Solves like that. That's great. That looks really good. Yeah. And then there's another corner twisting one. 
I don't think you can call this. I'm not. Dog, can you? you can. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a corner twist because it works without a corner twist. But um, so I'm just gonna mix. It I up. don't think. Can they see? No. Mix it up. Okay. And uh, boy, where did I put it? Okay. Uh, it's like. Okay. What have I done? Right. So. Yeah. Like that. Oh wow, that's, nice. that's cool. But obviously you'll have a corner twist that makes it look more visual. So wow. Okay. Very cool stuff. I mean, yeah. That's and you can do that with the three-sided sole, which makes it look. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I ask a question? Yeah. As somebody who is a bit of an old fart, and 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 just you know. That is true. You are an old. I am an old fart. So let me ask you a question, right? And genuinely, I'm interested in this. So I can do a throw solve. I'm decent at the throw. Oh, toss-up solve. Toss-up solve, whatever. I can do that. Yeah. yeah? I can also do the, uh, you know, I can, I can do the, uh, yeah, it's so cool. weird doing, the, doing it with the go cubes. Oh, no, that's what I thought. Um, I can also do a, uh, you know, like a uh, kind of, this is so weird, very difficult to do. I can also do a shake solve. I can, I can, I can do and, and And I can also do a one move solve. I know you did one move solve. I know you Everything can. else you just did. Do I really need Crazy Sam's solve? I can. I, I think. I think this one. Um. I think this one would probably be pretty, um, pretty cool for you. What do you mean for me? I don't. I'm saying the slow solve. I think would be. But but do I need it? Yeah, I think. Why if do I need? If you're doing a cue back, so I think you'll be good for you. Why? Why would it be? That, 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 I'm doing devil's advocate here. Why would it be good for me? This is, no, if you're doing a cue back, I think it'll be good. Yeah, I think it'll Why? Be good. That's the question I've got. Cool. For. It looks cool. But but I'm already doing three solves. How many ways do I need to solve the cube? Because it looks better. No. Yes, it's all very good. That does look amazing. I have to be honest. That does look great. And I didn't realise you could do this stuff with a go cube. But you can. Um, but do, do, honestly, do I need to do this? Do, I've already do all those solves. I mean, I just you're an old mark, probably not. But. I, I demonstrated that I can do all of those solves, right? Yeah. If I'm doing a cube act, and bearing in mind... I could do all of them, right. and I would do it with the cube act. You, you, I, look, I've seen you go on stage and do literally 30 minutes of magic with Rubik's Cubes. I know... There's so many yeah, cubes. Yeah, those gimmick cubes on the stage. If I'm doing, like, if I'm if I'm showing it to like a friend or something, I would use all of themselves. So, like, I no, but the point I'm saying is, do, do you need it? Like, like when I do a cube act, which I do close up, you know, mm -hmm. and stage, I do a cube act that lasts about seven or eight minutes. I have three souls in there. I'm happy with those three souls. I think I think you'll be good at this one though. What's that one? The one where you go like this. Yes, you're very good. No, I'm saying you, I think you need that one. I don't need any of them, is the point I'm trying to make. Why would I need this? It's like, it's Does like... Does it make you look better for once? Ouch. Like, no, seriously. It's like, it's like, right, okay. You can force a card with a pack of cards. You use a ripple force. Yeah, I know that. Why know are you not so. learning a classic force? A rollover force? A dribble force? A toss force? Why, why are we just... Why, it comes to a point where you just don't need this stuff, right? Yeah, I do. Because I do. I, I want to create a really good cube act that doesn't use gimmick cubes that I can do in front of someone with a regular cube. Right. So, so far, I've obviously got the the one that you showed where it's like that, and I can solve it like that. Yeah. So I've got that one. I've got... I, I probably wouldn't use the one that's like that with the uh, crazy sand, so I can do the um, one move solve. So I would probably just stick to the one move solve. So I'd do the one move solve. I would do the toss up solve. Well, you. And I'll do um, Venom Cube, but without gimmicks. Yes. Yeah, so it's like. Uh, I always do. Oh, using my timing force, using the old farts timing force. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so literally just say stop, and then you say stop, and if you want. Yeah, stop. There, you sure? Yeah. Like one more turn, is that it? One more turn. One more turn, okay. Now, and then I have, I have yeah. uh, that mini cube. I say, look, it can be matches, even though the mini cube's been in the case the whole time. Yeah. You can see. And it's a bit like, I'm doing a quick solve. And I'll also probably do the one that I created where it's like, like that. And then. Oh, mm, well, that's a great solve, yes. Like that, and it solves. Yeah. Then I would do 
Damn. Yeah, probably do the um, so solve. <coughs> what? Okay. And then, I think I'll probably do uh last one. The blow one's my favourite. Yeah, I'll probably do the blow one. Might give it a quick um corner. Um, yeah, so it's li so literally, you can see there's no corner twisted right now. Yeah. And it is literally just so, I've got the cube. Oh yeah, well you don't see anything, it doesn't, yeah. You can't see it or No, you can't, no. And then. Um. So mix it up. And then. Like that. Okay, right. So that's probably enough. 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 Okay, look, I'm going to give this 79%. I'm going to give it a. I'm not going to do this. I am never going to learn any of these solves. I don't see the need in having them in my you act. You should learn the blow solve. I don't need the blow solve. The, you like this one. I love it. I watch you do it. Right, you are. I can, I can show you the. I can, I can, right. You would, you would be able to learn the slow solve. Stop. You, Joseph Westbury, Killian O'Connor. Uh, Near Evans, anybody who does a ton of magic with a Rubik's Cube, I think this is something that you absolutely should study and you should get really I good at it. The I, think you, I think you'd be good at doing the bustle. Okay, well, we'll look at it later, okay? Can we do it later? Yeah. Because we're Absolutely. filming a video, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> anybody no, who... I think the bustle would be good. Okay. I mean, the uh, so -so one. Okay. Anybody who does cube magic this is great this is something that you should add to your act and i do cube magic but it's not a big thing for me i spend most most of my cube act these days is cube 52 with an actual mixed up rubik's cube and a cube 52 deck like that is what the majority of the uh, stuff that i do close up with the cube is now i don't um, do wild cubes in there oh no i do do wild cubes yes um, I would of course you would um but so I'm not going to do this. It's it's going to get seventy nine percent from me. I think it's brilliant, but I'm not going to put the effort in to learn any of those solves. I think they're great. You would you would with the soul solve. I, my my brain is full of algorithms. I don't need another algorithm in my you head. Need to learn it. I, my brain is full, but it's you old. You pointed learn. out to it. It's old. It's full. It's, it's old full of it's, farty. it's full of cube algorithms. I don't need any more cube, Which algorithms. cube algorithms. Lots of them. Like Lots what? of them. F two L. You don't know. I taught you F2L. <laughs> Stop now. What are you giving it? Give it a review. I'll give it... I, I can't be silly with the percentages anymore. So, 100%. Top notch. Top notch. Mm -hmm. Top notch. Best percent. Best, best percent I can give it now. So. Why? Well, you can be, you give, look, you can rate it whatever you want to. What are you going to give it? Um... um, um, um. 100% plus two lin times two lin plus two lin times two lin plus two lin times two lin plus two lin. And that goes on for infinity. So, <laughs> whatever he said. Uh, it, it's a great mark. Look, if you're a cube uh, person and you want to learn how to do some Rubik's Cube magic with a regular Rubik's Cube, this is absolutely something that you should learn. This is as required viewing as the Refractor Project, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I think this is incredible. It gets the highest marks from me. And the highest marks from uh, from Ryland, you can get it directly from uh, all good magic dealers or from um, uh, from Henry Harris himself. Uh, but that is Crazy Sam's Soul. So guys, thank you so much for uh, joining us on this very special review show special. We've had so many people contact us wanting to find out more about Crazy Sam Solve. So uh, yeah, uh, that's hopefully giving you all the information you need. Uh, Ryland learned all of those, by the way, in one weekend, didn't you? You started looking at it on the Friday. By the Sunday, you'd learned all of those solves. And there's some that you hasn't learned yet that you still, like you haven't committed that three-sided solve to memory yet, have you? It's not like something. I need so, to remember the algorithm and then I can perform the flick solve and drop solve and that. Yeah, so... Because every time I'm doing it at the moment, I'm just having to, like, watch the video, put it in the position and then do it. 
Yeah, so it is going to require some memory work. Uh, he's got a great memory and he's still struggling to get into that position. But you put the effort in and you will have something very, very special. Uh, do me a favor, let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Don't forget, if you haven't seen the Q&A that came up at 12 o'clock today, please do so. But Ryland, thank you so much for joining me as a special guest on the Review Show Special, my friend. And if you want to see more of Ryland, he'll be back on Wednesday with the Craig and Ryland Review Show. I'm Greg. I'm Ryland. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye.